But on a serious note, on a serious tip, can we get into the head? Because I really be doing my own shit. Like. I'm a rock star, smash my guitar. Come through on that bigger jet. Make niggas stare at my hands, even though I am not my man. Diamonds on my ring and on my arms. Watch me flex on y'all. But do y'all see how perfect my hair is? And I haven't even done my baby hairs. I was just brushing them in the way that I thought they would like look pretty. But my hair is perfect. Okay, let's get into it. So the style that I will be doing today, I'm not sure what it's called. But these are the photos that inspired me. Thanks, India Love. Her hair always slayed. So I'm about to show y'all everything that you need for this style, okay? My hair scent is from Amazon. And the hair that I will be using is the Free Trust 3 times braiding hair. It's pre-stretched. So we love that. It's really easy to work with. Um, it's in the color 1B and the inches 28. Okay, long to my thong. You're going to need some shining jam or whatever jam that you like. I prefer the one with honey. It's, it smells good, okay? That's the only reason why I like it. You're also going to make sure that you need something to lay your edges with. I love Edge Booster. It's, this gets the girlies together, okay? If you got 4C hair, that's going to be a best friend. You need combs for parting. I like the metal one and the, like, actual parting comb. And you're also going to need some mirrors, okay? Yes, I was watching my girl, Kyla Shane, in the back when I'm getting to it. I love the YouTube girlies. But I like to use a mirror in the front and a mirror in the back because it helps me part and you're also going to need some clips some brushes so yeah that's everything so let's get into the tutorial okay because i'm excited like this style was super duper cute so the first thing that i did was part my hair into sections okay so you need to section out the hair that you want for your comb rows and then you need to section out the section that you want for your like individual box braids or whatever right so make sure that you are doing something that frames your face well and make sure that you detangle your hair, okay? Be gentle with your hair. I know right here I look like it hurt. Like, why do I look like I'm in so much pain? I'm not, I promise you. But, you know, just make sure that you are being gentle with your hair. And then you're going to want to section and put away that part for the cornrows. You don't want that hair getting nowhere else, okay? It needs to stay put, okay? Stay away. So, basically how this style works is you're going to have cornrows on the front and you're going to have regular box braids on the back. So, if you know how to braid and you know how to, like, incorporate the hair, you're Gucci. Like, you're going to fly through this, but I'm going to break it down for the girlies who don't, okay? So, you're going to make sure that you part your sections um, to the size that you want. I wanted nice, chunky braids because um, I didn't want to be doing my hair. But forever, if we're going to be honest here, so this is my first section, and I'm going to break these down into two. You see how I'm turning around? I'm showing you all the angles. Yes, get into it, okay? So, to make sure that your parting is crisp, you always want to put your gel or edge control, whatever, on your scalp, and then go over it with your comb. So, like I said, I only wanted two braids in the back. This is the size for my braids. Nice and chunky, okay? Get into it. That means your style is going to be nice and full, you know? So, I'm um, parting, I'm sectioning, and I'm I'm putting a lot of shiner gem on my hair. That's going to make sure that your braid is nice and sleek. And you want to comb that product through the hair. Get into it. I know I've been gone off YouTube for a minute, baby, but I still know how to explain a style in these tutorials, okay? So the second step is you're going to separate your hair into three sections. Why? Because you're doing a regular braid. Duh. So you're going to plait your hair. Okay, once you incorporate all three pieces, you have to incorporate the braiding hair. So make sure that your um, index finger, your pointer finger is separated. You're going to tuck the hair right underneath. Okay, boom. Make sure it's tight to your scalp and then you're going to braid down as normal. Once you incorporate the three sections, do it again. So now I'm going to show you the size of the section that I'm using. Not too big because you're going to add a lot of pieces. So you don't want them to be too fat because then they're going to be bulky. So you see how my pointer finger is separated? Just tuck the hair underneath and braid as normal. Please comment down below if that made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. I always respond to y'all. But basically you just do that over and over and over again. You're going to do it three times in the beginning, and then you're going to braid down to basically lock all that hair that you added in. 
okay and then basically this is how they do knotless braids it's just a big ass knotless braid for real for real if i'm gonna keep it a buck with you because you want the hair to be incorporated seamlessly okay i feel like i'm talking a lot but i really hope that i'm explaining it to the girl as well you see how it's nice and tight to my scalp but it's not bulky we love that okay so yeah that's all you want to do keep adding your hair keep braiding down make sure you are adding shine and jam hello to your normal, like your regular hair, your real hair, and the braiding hair so it sticks all together and you don't have no crazy flyaways. And that's literally all you do, girl. So I'm going to let y'all watch because I know a lot of y'all are visual learners like me. I'm going to play some music for y'all and I'm going to come back when I have something more to explain. Okay, so I'm back. I came back after I did a ton of the braids and they look so nice. They look so neat and clean and crisp. They all look to be the same size. They're nice and thick and full. That's what I was going for, okay? So some of y'all may be asking yourselves, how do I know how much braiding hair to add into each braid? And it all depends on your preference of your style. So I don't have an actual answer for that. But just know that the thicker or the longer you want your braid to be, the more hair you should add. So I had to jump back in here to show y'all. Look at this little piece of hair. Girl, I cut my hair accidentally when I was taking my locks out for my last style. And baby, I had to show y'all that I don't care how thick your hair is, how short your hair is. If you know how to grip your hair... You can do this style, okay? So that's why I basically just wanted to show y'all the same exact process with this little bitty piece of hair right there because I definitely cut so much of my hair. So stay tuned to my natural hair journey because I definitely be, will be um, growing my hair out and I will be getting this little patch together, honey. Like, stop playing. But yeah, this is how the braids are coming together. They're nice and flat. And then I went ahead and taught myself how to do the cornrows. And baby, they came out so cute. It's nice and flat, and that's what I like so much about it. So basically, we are going to get into her because I know you can't tell me that I don't look professionally done. Like, yeah, so basically, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side to this side. And um, definitely spray your hair or put mousse, okay? I had to use the hairspray to got to be because I had no mousse. I'm going to let y'all know that in the end of the video. But yeah, all you're going to do is section your edges out because you got to make sure that you leave those out so you can style them later and then you're just gonna comb roll as normal okay let's be clear I am not doing stitch braids I don't know how to do those on myself yet so all I'm doing is creating some cool sections with my parting comb um I didn't want both of the sides of my head to perfectly match so, you know, I'm just doing the same things I told y'all how to do for the braids in the back. You want to add your edge control to your scalp and then perfect your part. And as far as a comb roll, you are going to get a little section in the front. And you're going to braid that like a regular plait, if that makes any sense. I think I braid my hair like 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I do it like six times before I actually start to incorporate the rest of the hair. So it's very important that you add a lot of jam to your whole section of hair. Make sure that if you're like me and you like your sideburns, make sure that you leave those out too. But your edge brush is really going to help you do the comb roll part because you need to brush the hair and brush the jam into the hair. And use your comb parts to section out the front of your part that you're going to plait six times. So I do it like one, two, three. And hold on, my mama came to check my hair out. <laughs> so that's who I was looking and smiling at. But yeah, get that plait together, girl. Four, five, six. <laughs> and once you plait your hair that tight, because you basically need the hair to lock itself in place, then you're going to just add the rest of your hair like a regular comb roll. If you don't know how to comb roll, baby, you got to go look at a, a beginner's tutorial, okay? But basically, that's all I'm doing. And then when I get almost close to the end of the comb roll, I'm going to start incorporating the braiding hair the same exact way that I did with the plaids or the knotless braids, whatever you want to call it, okay? Comment down below if y'all got any questions. Let me know. If I'm explaining this well, please give me a like because that basically allows me to know that my tutorials are translating well to my audience, okay? This time around my YouTube channel, I'm not playing no games, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to let y'all watch me work and I'm going to let y'all listen to some music and I'm going to come back in the end. All night, say it. I wanna be all night. Uh -uh. I wanna be all night. Say it. I wanna be all night. Hello, stranger. Vape's been waiting. Just as I recall, that ass is still amazing. Playing, babe. Saying, babe. Love it, just no one plays it. So go ahead and drink up. I'm so glad we got to link up Get to taking that off, taking that off me Cause I got the blood that made me call me green I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't make me wait, no, don't you Just lay you Make you feel like though. Why this make you feel like though? Yeah, 
Come till you broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your broke off your broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Tell it who you got to do, who you got to do, who you got to do. Come broke off your back, broke off your back, broke off your broke off your broke off your back, girl. Who you are wrong with? I know him. Anytime you're ready, girl. Come here, please make me fly. In the rain, I make you feel high like on a plane. She said, I saw the love, the act. Feels like sweet and I touch the spot. Dancing, she love to that. Girl, touch the spot. Come on, you know, broke off your back. 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 Girl, you know you got the glue. You know you got the glue. You know you got the glue. Come broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Girl, girl, your body is hotter than a sun tan. You make me turn up at attention. You pretty like the melodies in every song. Plus it cooking all your body. Girl, you make your body shine. Girl, and if I play, you gotta know that fix it. And when you dance to me, sing it on a big key. Pop, 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 pop like a drum on a beat. It's your night like a secret. So you feel why I feel it? Broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your broke off your broke off your back. Girl, you know you got the glue. Know you got the glue. Know you got the glue. Come broke off your back. Broke off your back. Broke off your broke off your broke off your back. show y'all please just forgot all the crazy that's going on behind me but do y'all see how perfect my hair is and I haven't even done my baby hairs I was just brushing them in the way that I thought they would like look pretty but my hair is perfect it looks like I went to get it done I like how the comb rolls are different I like how flat it lays let me spray this side because I sprayed that fast. Oh my God, y'all. I don't have any mousse. So I have to use something that's going to like keep it intact. But I love my hair. So this is me pulling all the hair towards the front. It's thick. It's full. But it's not too crazy. Like these are all the braids. It looks nice and full. I still have to dip them. Perfect length. I didn't want them too long, too crazy. I love my hair. I should have worn my hair like this to Cancun. But anyways, y'all know how to dip some hair. I don't feel like taking y'all upstairs because my phone is dying right now. So y'all know, dip your hair in boiling hot water. Um, if you have mousse, I would suggest that you use mousse. I don't have none. I'm probably going to pick some up tomorrow. Or I may just keep using the spray. Who knows? I'm going to spend up money. But this is, this is the look. This is the vibe. I don't even know what this is called. But it's cute. I have 33 braids in my hair for the girlies in the back, okay? But on a serious note, on a serious tip, can we get into the hair? Because I really be doing my own shit. Like, stop playing so much. Y'all gonna book? Diamonds on my ring and on my arms. Watch me flex on y'all. 